I'm a guest. But don't expect the hog to pay pull up, but that's what I do. You know what I mean? Yeah, but we don't want no drama, though. You know what I'm saying? We don't want no drama, man. Only thing we want, only thing we want is people to be leveled up. I mean, people gotta level up. If you ain't gonna level up, be real. Like for real. We want reparations, but the thing is, is we need a vehicle to get you. Yeah. I, I would give y'all that Sarnetta look. Anybody used to watch Sarnetta when he come on, he'd be like. <laughs> Anybody still watch Sarnetta? Sarnetta used to come on, he'd just be like, he don't know what to say. <laughs> so family, how can y'all hear me? Are y'all good? Press seven if you hear me, family. Press seven if you hear me. I got to make sure you hear me. How everybody doing, man? Got my brother Khalif in the building. Family, 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 man. Hey, listen, I made it home. 
I told y'all before, it's all about who wants to make it home. You feel me? I made it home. And I got news for you. Listen, in reality, I really don't want to do this show. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. In reality, I don't want to do this show because there was a lot of beautiful people out there in the crowd that actually appreciate intelligence. You understand what I'm saying? There was, and I want everybody to know that if you have a problem with um with like those who ride with the ideal of FBA, um If y'all don't hit the cash app, I'm out of here. <laughs> Suspected FBA. <laughs> yeah, somebody should pay for gas money. Thanks for my brother who 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 assisted me. Uh, you know who you are. But listen to what I'm saying. If 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 just because let's let's not be like the Europeans are when it comes to being prejudiced. You know what I mean? Just because we disagree with somebody, um, it's the organizer that's the problem. But many people out there. Uh, out there because they they feel as though that it's hope and what's being told. And I'm telling you, that's one of the reasons that I'm not going to clip for clip for clip for clip the videos on this because there was 75%. Let me tell you, family, in my estimation, it was 75% people that actually had common sense, had intelligence, and actually appreciate what I do here and what you support here and being a part of here on Morse World TV. There, there was there was people there. Let me let me thank more real rap. <laughs> we either build or destroy. Go ahead and speak your truth. That's right. Sometimes we got to destroy the build, though. Sometimes, uh, uh thank you, brother Patriot. So sometimes, oh, that's like sister Patriot. <laughs> I see a sister there. But sometimes we got to destroy in order to build. And, and and the destruction part that people don't like. In other words, sometimes you got to tear down that old mall and build a new mall to make it more attractive. Sometimes you got to tear down that old house because that old house just is not going to be repaired. Some things is in irreparable condition sometimes. And you just got to tear it down and start from scratch. That's what you got to do sometimes. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, that's the case where we are. That's where we are right now. You see what I'm saying? That's where we are right now. We're, we're at the place now where we got to tear it down just to build it up. And then in the process of tearing it down, people are going to get mad. You know what I mean? What are we tearing down? We're not tearing down no movement, obviously, because we haven't moved anywhere. You feel what I'm saying? We're tearing down the people that's jumping in and saying that they are for movement. You know what I'm saying? We're tearing down the people and moving them out the way that claim that they are pushing people in a direction, leading people, guiding people in a direction towards resolution. That's what we're, we're tearing down. We're tearing them down. You know what I'm saying? Now, as I, as I go through this, man, 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 again, I'm going to show a few clips, but let me tell you something. There was a lot of disingenuous information that came out. I'm going to drop the link, Khalif, as soon as I get finished. There's a lot of disinformation that came out. Um, first of all, one of the most, and I got to be careful with this because those who are FBA and were there for good intentions and good reasons, you know what I'm saying? They were there for good reason and good intentions and good hearted people um, that's moving on the vibration of once something done. So, so family, this is not. This is not for them. However, anybody that was there know that this number that you're hearing about 3,000 people, that's, that's untrue. It's just not true. You know what I'm saying? It's just not true. Now, I mean, now the whole thing is, is that that is not a shot at what those people showed up for, our people who really believe and want some reparations. That's not a shot at them. It's just a lie that is trying to project this type of picture to seem as you have more power than what you really have. What it is, it's like the midget and Wizard of Oz. 
the midget seems really big as long as he's in the loudspeaker. But when you pull the curtain back, it's just a little midget. And that's what people are projecting, that they're bigger than what they are. Now, you would think that, you would think that a brother like Tariq Nasheed, who has a quarter million subscribers and followers on every platform that he talks on, that he could assemble more than three to 400 people. Now, I don't know if I can. I never tried it. Keep it up, Buck GS. Keep, keep it up, Buck GS. It was a glorified block party. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm going to let you decide that. Now, I, I haven't decided if I could bring that many people together, even 300, I don't know. I mean, it, it, to me at this point, it's 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 really immature you in the conversation for reparations. I would rather bring five people who is qualified to march us towards reparations than 3,000 people assembled uh, um, in a park just giving uh, smooth, nice speaks, speeches. I mean... I would, I would. Somebody say sounds like hate. Now, let me say this. Um, if we're not able to critique each other, sister, we would never be able to move forward. We should be able to critique each other. Now, if you wanted to come on here and you wanted to express yourself to show me how this is hate, critiquing uh, something that is actually being polarized on a lie, you're welcome to come on here. I mean, you're welcome to come on here, but we're only critiquing. We're only critiquing because there's a lie being a senator being pushed around social media right now. There's a lie. And I was there. So, you know, the lie is not going to be able to get wings or get legs. Not today. So so let me let me let's break down. Family. You know, I'm always going to bring the receipts. Um, I got receipts. You know how I do. You know how I do. <laughs> So let me let me say this. So first of all, family, let me let me paint the picture for you. You know what I mean? I'm only going live on this topic because uh, I know that you have been following this story, and it only make makes sense for me to cover this story. You know what I'm saying? It only makes sense for me to cover this story because you've been following. Now, first of all, I didn't go to uh, Freedom Plaza to troll. At all. I mean, that, that doesn't make sense. I mean, the reason why I thought it was important for me to go to Freedom Plaza was that I am in the DMV area. And number one, if I didn't go to the Freedom Plaza and I am in the DMV area, then the first thing you would say is, even you would say, well, Grand Sheik, why didn't you go? And not going to be tough, not going to be an antagonizer, but at least go and get the story. You know what I'm saying? Go and get the story because I've been covering this conversation with, about Tariq for the last month or so. So it only goes along with the theme of what we're covering here. That's all. And so some say, why did you go? I'm going to cover the story. I'm a blogger. Tariq's a blogger. These people are vloggers. Don't get it twisted just because we got opinions as it relates to politics, as it relates to culture, as it relates to entertainment. We still do blog shows. And if we cover a subject, it only makes sense that if the subject matter makes its way in a reasonable distance, we will go there. That just makes sense. So I don't know why people will act like this is Chinese. This is not Chinese language that we're talking to each other. This is basic basic math. We've been talking about the story. There's a rally nearby. Let me go. That's it. That's it. Nothing more. Now, one thing for sure, two things for certain. I knew going in that there was going to be some agitated men. The men that follow Tariq are more agitated than the women. This is amazing to me. This is amazing. The men was more mad at me than the women. Do you hear what I said? The men was 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 was, was inflamed. 
I don't know if they flaming, but they was inflamed. Oh my goodness. I know one sister, I heard one sister say in the cloud, crowd, she said, clown, every other opposition were men. It was men. And guess what they was asking me? Why you come at Tariq like that? I'm explaining though, having conversation though. Like, brother, this started from such and such. No, it wasn't. You started. Now, in my mind, right, I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little bit turnt, right? Let me tell you something. People say I was moving off fast like that. Like, that's my personality. Anybody know me, that's how I get down. Anybody that know me, I can bring my mama on here. This is how I get down. I'm real hyperactive. That's just my energy, right? And I have to, I have to. I have to remind people, oh, my bad, bro. Now, this, that, because I, because it seems to be a little bit threatening. I understand. I mean, my energy is a little bit aggressive. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not the aggressor. You know what I'm saying? That ain't where I'm at with it. But my energy is always like, da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> but I am not the aggressor. You know what I mean? That's just my energy, right? And, so these guys, <laughs> so these guys randomly, they randomly was coming up like, one even was like, that's a Turkish hat. Like, all right, okay. If that's what you think, that's fine. That's a Turkish hat, you know what I'm saying? But he said, Moore said, GS, please, people are incoherent, don't <laughs> <laughs> Don't diplomats of the nation sit and talk before war is presented. They show they are their their ignorance and they're not ready to lead. Exactly. Exactly, right? So they said 50,000 people attended. <laughs> I'm gonna show you in a minute, right? So look. <laughs> So look, I'm just, I'm, we just chopping it up. We just, we just chopping it up like they did in DC this weekend. Is that all right? <laughs> we just chopping it up. <laughs> I ain't gonna front. <laughs> I ain't trying to make it a small thing. <laughs> we just chopping it up. Can I chop it up for a few minutes before I get to these slides? Can I babble <laughs> like this? These people got a nerve to call something a plebiscite babble. They have been I never call anything a plebiscite babble again. Because I'm going to tell you, if if there is such a thing of a plebiscite babble, everyone on that stage was plebiscite babbling. Do you hear what I say? Everyone on that stage was plebiscite babbling, according to Tariq's definition. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm just babbling. <laughs> <Can't you see? laughs> but now, let me break this down. Let me break this down for you. With that, with that being said, let me I want to break a few things down for you. Let me go into my folder real quick. Let me see what I got here. Let me see what I got here. Let me go into my folder real quick. Um so family, if you haven't if you haven't thumbs up the video, do so now. I want to go into my folder real quick. Um, let me show you something right here. All right. This right here. Let me screen share. This right here is a misrepresentation. Misrepres you hear what I say? This is a misrepresentation as well as disingenuous. This is a misrepresentation and it's disingenuous. Now, let me show you what happened with this. Because I look at it, I'd be like, whoa. And anybody without an untrained eye would look at it and be like, whoa. But anybody with a little bit understanding that this is a big commercial, you know what I'm saying? Then you will understand, hold up, somebody manipulated something. Or you would even consider that somebody manipulated something. You know what I'm saying? Somebody manipulated something. 
And so now, now, because I was there, I know what was manipulated. You know what I'm saying? Now, somebody said it was Photoshopped. Now, I don't know if it was Photoshopped or not, but the way that this picture that you just seen was taken, this is how it was manipulated. The way that this picture that you seen was taken, it was taken on an angle where you can see the, the just the immediate crowd and it looks like a sea of people. That was not the case because I was there. That was not the case. Now, let me show you what it was more like. First of all, let me do it like this. Let me let me pull this. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go slow so you can understand tonight, because I'm not gonna review this much more after tonight. Um, I'm gonna go slow on this. So let me say what you, what you really were seeing. Now let me break this down first. I'm gonna break this down real, really, really nice for you. Now, just so you know, because I'm I'm gonna give you the update. Just so you know, I'm gonna break this down really, really nice and real slow. Watch this. This is what you call Freedom Plaza. That square right there, that square right there, that was where the people were. You hear what I said? That where that square is at, that's what you were seeing. That's not a big area. That's not a big area. Anybody that was there, FBA, they can tell you that's what you were seeing. And even half of that was packed towards the front. Much of it, when you get towards the back of that red square back there, I mean, back by that red square back there, it was starting to thin out towards the corner of the red square. It was thinning out. And anybody who was there can tell you Back in the back where you see Moochie Bear at, there was hardly nobody back there. If you look all the way in the back where I got the uh, Stars of David, that is where the Hebrew Israelites was at. You hear what I said? That was where the Hebrew Israelites was at. Anybody that was there will tell you I am not lying. Now, that, that, that anybody would tell you I'm not lying. I'm not making this stuff up. And not only that, we actually has receipts for this, right? So I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to rain on their parade, but it's people projecting that it was bigger than what it was. You know what I'm saying? It's people projecting that it was bigger than what it was. Somebody was there. The real Dana. There she go. And I want y'all to subscribe to the real Dana. Sister Dana, I'm using one of your videos tonight. <laughs> Sister Dana say they need some speakers in the front. And see, now listen. Sister Dana, she was filming right back there where I was at. I don't know if she seen me, but I seen her video. She was filming in, in, in similar location. And she was like, they need some speakers in the middle. Can't nobody hear that? <laughs> Shout out to the real Dana. Nice to see you in the building. But look, Sister Dana say he's not lying because she was there. She was there. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. This is why I'm the people's grand shit because I'm going to do it for the people. I'm going to do it for the people. Now, now, family. <laughs> she said, I was there in D.C. and I was there earlier. You know what I'm saying? So now, listen to this. I want you to understand the variables, right? If, 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 if that crazy sister is a, uh, what is that? Um, what's the sister just say? She said she's from D.C. Um. The numbers are so disingenuous, right? The numbers were so dis disingenuous that you're hearing on Twitter and with these pictures that it, it, it compels me to break this down. It compels me to break this down because this is ridiculous. Because, because what people are doing is they're selling a product. And the product is that they're for you so you can go and buy their next 
venture, whatever that may be. That's all of this is about. It's nothing more than that. Now, with that being said, I have another another shot that I want to throw out here real quick. Is this it right here? Okay. Now, I think this is it right here. Let's do this. Let me get let me get sister. Let me get sister Dana up in here. Look at this. So here's sister Dana video right here. And and y'all go subscribe to her. She was funny to me. <laughs> but yeah, say thank you for the footage. They got two little ass speakers on the stage, but nothing. Fuck out of here. That is sister Dana footage right there. Uh um Y'all need to go subscribe to her channel. She mad funny. <laughs> that's the real. That's the real deal right there. There it is. That's the real deal right there. That's the real deal right there. You feel what I'm saying? That's the real deal. So, oh, I thought I had it right the first time. The camera was sideways the whole time. I, I thought I was doing it right this time, honey. I see that. That's all you. I know. I was so wrong. That's the real deal, right there. Shout out to the real Dana. You know what I mean? Because I thought I would be alone doing this. I thought I'd be alone covering this. But 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 that's the real deal. I'm not making this stuff up. I'm not making this stuff up. So I don't want people to think that I'm being disingenuous. What I'm saying is, is that for the lies that people are putting out, claiming that there was this humongous crowd, no, it was an okay group of people there, but it wasn't what they're projecting on these pictures. It, it just would not. I mean. Now look, no, no, I didn't. I didn't give a count. I didn't give a count, Night Coder. I did not give a count, and I'm going to be respectful to Night Coder. Just stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'm going to be fair and balanced with this. Watch this. I didn't give a count. I didn't say how many people. I'm just telling you, it wasn't no 3,500 people there. That's the bottom line. I'm saying. Now, I'm going to show this one more time. Anybody that was there would tell you that. Anybody that was there will tell you. Riza Islam did not show up. Anybody that was there will tell you that this was where this was where majority of the people were at. Now, opposite of that, there was people sprinkled around. Anybody was there, anybody that was there will tell you. Now, let me let me show you something else. Let me show you something else real quick. Um, let me open my camera up real quick. Let me let me open my. I got a lot. I got a lot of little things I want to show you real quick. Um, now even this brother. Let me let me let me hit this brother real quick. This is another brother. So 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 brother say NPR was there. Maybe NPR in on it because here is another brother. Watch this. Watch this brother here. Shout out to this brother here. Hey guys, we're here at the reparations program. And and go and go and go subscribe to Uncle O's Corner. I like him. He got a very respectable platform too. Uncle O's Corner. He has a very respectable platform. I like it. I like it. Uncle O, shout out to you. Check it out though. Rally, reparations Rally 2022 here in Washington, D.C. Folks are coming in from all across the country. Folks are flying in. People are driving in. The wonderful thing is this, is that it's a small crowd now starting like... Now, that picture right there, I'm sure it was when people actually were starting to pull up. Somebody say the volume. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That too in a minute. Oh, somebody say turn the volume up. Ah. Man, y'all messing with me. All right, let me see if I can. I'm going to try to turn this volume up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey guys, we're here at the reparation. All right. 
Let me try this way. See, this, these are uh, screen shares. So let me do it like this. Bam. All right. Here we go. Let me try it this way. A rally, Reparations Rally 2022 here in Washington, D.C. Folks are coming in from all across the country. Folks are flying in. People are driving in. The wonderful thing is this, is that it's a small crowd now starting like always. But forget the crowd. Let's listen to the information today. Stop right there. So the brother says it's a small crowd, but forget the crowd. Let's get the information. He even mentions the small crowd. So what you see is, I'm going to tell you what you're seeing. People don't understand what they're seeing. So towards the end, this is what's happening. I come in around 1230. You feel me? I come in around 1230. When I come in around 1230, I'm walking through this corridor type spot. You feel me? I'm walking through this corridor type spot. That this is disingenuous. This don't even look like DC at the, let me show you this real quick. This is disingenuous. This is very, very disingenuous. This don't even look, anybody that was there know this don't even look like the park. Let me show you this NPR photo. Let me show you this NPR. And this is how you know it's propaganda too. They on the propaganda train too. Anybody that was there knows that this photo is some kind of way hooked up. Anybody that know. Anybody that was there know that this photo is hooked up. In fact, they don't even really look like the area. Where did they get this from? There was no potties in the back of here. Who photo is this? There was no potties in the background. Anybody see this garbage? Look all the way in the back of this. There was no potties back there. Y'all see this propaganda? There was no potties back there. That's where the Hebrews was at in the back. This is a propaganda photo by NPR. This is propaganda. I'm telling you, the government, these frauds and these ops, they all hooked in together with media. That's supposed to be the NPR picture reporting of the rally. And, and Tariq Nasheed says NPR did a good story. NPR did a good story on the rally. That's not no picture reflection of the rally. Unbelievable the extent they will go to keep our people blind. Unbelievable. This is sad. This is sad. This is sad. Anyway, <laughs> this is not even this is not even the background. And NPR tripping. <laughs> NPR is tripping, man. Ah. Oh. Man, let me just throw this out here. Let me get this out here. Anyway, somebody asked, thank you so much, the Black Unfold. Somebody asked why are we butthurt. It's not butthurt. It's people lying to us, brother. It's people lying to us. People are lying to us. What well, aren't you? Wouldn't you be upset if somebody was lying to you to try to get you to buy into something? Wouldn't you be upset? Somebody's trying to get you buy into something on the back end. So they lied to you on the front end. You follow what I'm saying? So they lied to you on the front end. Unbelievable to me, family. Let me carry on with this. And it, it just proves my point. It just proves my point. You know what I'm saying? It proves my point of what I'm saying. That these people are setting our people up. They are setting our people up. And that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. They are setting our people up. Let me show you something. 
with all the talk that 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 Tariq Nasheed talk about people on the uh, internet and 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 getting real crazy and always got something to say, he pretty much was with his security behind a barrier. With all the talk that he talks about Roland Martin, all the talks, all the little little goofy talk that he talk, he's behind the barrier, hugging people, taking pictures. Look at this. The real Dana was there. The real Dana was so raw with her coverage of it, and and I like people call me. Think that I, I I got some hate on Tariq Nasheed. That's why I'm glad that the real Dana covered it and the brother who else was balanced that I just talked about covered it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, how can a person be grassroots? I'm only covering this for you. How can a person be grassroots? Living behind in a, in a gated community and when they come up, they behind a the gate. How, that's not grassroots. That's not, somebody, GS, GS had the moors in the cup ready for jihad. Man, shout out to, man, I'm going to tell you, man. I'm going to tell you, man. Shout out to my brothers, though, man. My brothers, man. Ah, man. Man, man, my brother Justice, man. My brother Justice, man. When they... <laughs> Look, when when the, when the, when the brother uh, um when the brother walked up, man, and my brother Justice was looking at them, man, I was like, man, please don't do it. They was looking, and man, brother Justice, man, and shout out to my son, man, my son, he was, man, he gotta learn how to hold that camera though. He be shaking his hand. I'm gonna get on him about that. But my son, man, he don't, man, he don't fear nothing. He be. <laughs> To re get them with the same algebra angles that obese people use on catfish, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But my my son, you know, my son is phenomenal. Like he he my son, right, that holds the camera, he's the one that if anybody ever remember back in the day when I went up on, not really back in the day, but a little while ago, I went on 125th to address Sinetta. Um, talking crazy about the Moors and whatever about that. Um, that was my son who went with me then. You know what I mean? I got two sons, uh, uh, my older sons, you know, and he always hold the camera for me. <laughs> and he be, oh man, I, man, listen, fam. If you are a father or a mother, um, and you, uh, uh um, want the best of your children, then always give them the best of you. I'm telling you, I, I can't ask for anything better. I'm telling you, I, I be, it, it, it really warms my heart. <laughs> it warms my heart. But uh, my brother Justice and uh, 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 my other brothers, um, it was a beautiful sight. But let me, let me, let me, let me get to it real quick. Let me get to it. Always give your children the best. You know what I mean? Even when they act a fool, sometimes you got to give them the best. Um. Let me see. The next thing that I want to go to is, let me see. I want to go to, um, what is this code thing? Why? Like I said, I don't want to get too much on, I don't want to get too much on um, my videos. Because my video. Democratic shills like to say, oh, that Tariq is out there telling people not to vote. How dare you? you yes, dare me. I'm absolutely. Do y'all hear that? Can y'all hear that? Can y'all hear that? Tariq Nasheed is about to talk. Listen to this. All right. Let me turn it down a little bit. Let me turn it down. Bam, because I got it too loud. Tell me if you can hear this. Telling people. Stop taking y'all goofy asses out there voting for nothing. Democratic shields like to say, oh, that Tariq is out there telling people not to vote. How dare you? Yes, dare me. I'm absolutely telling people. Stop taking y'all goofy asses out there voting for nothing. 
we're getting slaughtered and hammered out here. Now, this is how you smell someone that's disingenuous and mean us no good. He do several videos. In fact, let me screen share this. He does several videos talking about don't vote. You know what I'm saying? That's his thing. Don't vote. There is no need to vote. Now, I could I could I could I could get with that, not for me, but for what he claims to represent makes sense to me if that's what he represents. But in that same regard, you're saying, here's one of the videos right here. I mean, one of the um, live streams right here. Tariq and she, Tariq Nasheed, the, the importance of not voting. Let me move my picture up. Now, the importance of not voting. Here's a problem with that. People always asking about the code. We need to get on code. We need to get on code. Why in the world would Tariq Nasheed be saying, don't vote, but everybody at the rally talking about voting? So I'm not the secret about voting. Voting is a tool. It's not an addiction. It's not a disease. It is a tool when you live in a capitalist society that use electoral processes. Now, if you're going to sit back and let somebody else use that tool, you're going to lose the game. Why would Tariq Nasheed, like we're talking about a code, he's telling his followers, why vote? Don't vote. No need to vote. But majority of his panel is talking about voting. It doesn't even make sense. If you want to win the game, you got to take control of every tool. What code is they talking about? It's not making sense. And people are mad at me talking about I'm hating. But where is the code? If Tariq says, here we go. By the dominance, not to vote. How dare you? Nick Shields like to say, oh, that Tariq is out there telling people not to vote. How dare you? you yes, dare me. I'm absolutely telling people. Stop taking y'all goofy asses out there voting for nothing. It doesn't make sense. And why do our people ride this nonsense? Why, are, why is people mad at me? Because I'm putting you on point. I'm showing you that this stuff is disingenuous. I'm, 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 listen, my reputation, my, my name, even, even sometimes you would think even my safety is on the line to waking people to not follow this nonsense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. He's saying stay on code, but there is no code. They're not on any code. They're not on any code. If if every speaker up there, if every speaker up there would echo the FBA message from Tariq Nasheed, then the march would be a success. The rally would be a success in their eyes. But no one echoed the words of Tariq Nasheed. Everyone was in opposition of his philosophy of reparations. Everyone was. Everyone that I listen to, most, you know the crazy thing? Most of these people that probably got a check to speak up there, they probably don't even listen to Tariq Nasheed. Because if they did, they would have said, hold up, my politics don't agree with yours. You know what I'm saying? They, they would have stayed, I think they would have said, hold up, no, nah, I, I don't agree with that. Because listen, I've been invited to quite a few type of engagements, right? I was invited, look, somebody said, please don't listen to him, y'all. <laughs> I was invited to quite a few engagements to speak on reparations and um, where we need to go as a people. But for me, I didn't want to get into those powwows. I don't even want, I understand social media. Um, it's also 
not only is it in, are, are you an influencing type of person, it's also a brand. And so I don't want my Tahaka Bay, Morris World TV, Morris World Citizens brand watered down just being a talking head over on this platform, that platform, this people. And it been quite some highly influential people wanted me on some panels to talk about it. I'm like, nah, I'm good. Nah. Uh -uh. Because y'all been talking about this stuff for years. And these are many older, elder statesmen. But they've been talking about it for years. So I'm not interested in it. I'm just not interested in it. It doesn't make sense to me. You know what I mean? But now, the funny part is, he tells people, let me get this one. Democratic shields like to say, oh, that Tariq is out there. He tells people not to vote, right? However, the weird thing about it is, he got Marcel Dixon up there running for Congress. In order for Marcel Dixon to get into office, you have to vote. So why would Marcel Dixon Oh, Sunset say not you, GS. Thank you, Sunset. Marshall, why would Marshall, Marshall, what's up is, Marshall Dixon, Marcel Dixon be up there if he's connected to a guy that say don't vote because Marcel Dixon can't even fight for reparations without him getting into the office of Congress to his philosophy. You see where this all go goes left. You see where this all goes left. This shows you that Tariq Nasheed is not only an op, but the opposition is giving him information that he can't even articulate and present to the people to stir us in the wrong direction. Because it's a person like me that's easily figuring this stuff out. Why would somebody listen to somebody like this? It just blows me away. He tells you don't vote, but now he has everybody on his panel. Right. Every person on his panel, for the most part, talking about being active in the political process. I'll be preparing for that now. While you're talking about me on Twitter space, you should be recruiting somebody to run in the state of California. And when I heard her say that, I thought she was talking about Tariq Nasheed on his stage. She said, because he talked about everybody in a Twitter space. You know, he do. She said, why are you look at it? That's about to go to the club with this one. Look at that. Shoot. That right. What's that song Juvenile say? <laughs> that right. That right. That's an electric car right there. That's a Tesla. <laughs> Shout out to my sister. She was giving it up, though. <laughs> she was giving it up. Look. 2024. Yeah. Look like she about to rap like Mia X up on that demonstration. <laughs> she look like a no limit soldier. <laughs> Go ahead, sis. <laughs> she look like she about to do a Mia X. Man. Y'all. <laughs> look. But watch what she say, though. Listen. That's right. While some of you are talking about how you're the only one that can talk about the scholar, some of you need to be talking about boots on the ground and who's going to run in California. Tariq is in California. Why is it? Listen, when people get mad at me now, you know what they mad at me for. They're mad because I am displaying the intelligence that they fail to display. And now they fail to accept that they have been duped. That they have been duped. They fail to accept that. And this is a problem in our community. People say, well, what is it your business? What is your business? The reason why it's my business, because I feel as though that I can help first certain sectors of our community to move forward. But first we got to do just like it said in the old Mac movie. First we got to get rid of the pimps and the pushers and we got to start all over. Anybody remember that? First we got to get rid of the pimps and the pushers and we got to start all over. That's where we at. We dealing with, listen, 
We're dealing with Reverend Chickenfoot 2.0. They do the same thing the preacher been doing for, for, for hundreds of years, for at least 100 years. They probably was doing it in slavery for 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 a uh, 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 for the bowl of chicken. You know what I mean? Mushed up chicken. You know what I mean? Ha, ha. You got to give it to the Lord. Ha. Hold on, let me keep it down because they're listening. Ha. You got to give me half of your chicken tonight. Ha. You know, and then the Lord will bless you. Ha. Don't forget to pass me some of your greens. Ha. I need some of your greens. Ha. And you over there, give me some of that barley to make me some bread. Ha. Hold up, he's coming down. Don't forget to pass the beans tomorrow. They, they, they've been doing that in slavery. And now they're just doing it now. They're just using Jesus as a different name. Now Jesus is the name reparations. Somebody say reparations. Everybody move. Oh, we're going to heaven. We're going to reparations heaven. That's all it is. It's a saying in the more science temple of America where the prophet Dr. Ali talks about giving back the principles of Christianity. And he talks about the principles of Christianity as practiced by Europeans. You know what I'm saying? Um, and our, our people be practicing the principles of Christianity practiced by Europeans. And he's like, give them back. You know what I mean? And so we give back stuff, but we don't give back the principles. And so the principles is the same thing. You know, you're saying that it's reparations, but this reparations is just like the Jesus imagery. And you're chasing a Jesus image that don't even exist. You're chasing a heaven that don't even exist. You know, pearls and gold. It's in the earth, but you think it's some pearly gates floating in the clouds. And that's the same thing they're doing with this reparations thing. The reparation is the catch word. It's, it's the emotional word. And, and Rem Chicken Foot, Rem Pork Chop them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they sitting up there, they're just playing games. And this is all they're doing today. It's the same thing today. When you do a real check on these people, you know what I'm saying? When you do a real check on these people, there is no real resolution. There is no real resolution. They're playing for the people. And they, listen, they're banking on building your confidence so when they ask you for something or sell you something you will buy into it that this is all this is about this is a confidence builder that's it that's it let me get let me pull me a couple more things out here because i'm just getting started now let me see what i got here now one of the things again let's follow tariq nashi real quick see what he say this is a Tariq Nasheed video, right? Let me share this. This is a Tariq Nasheed video. I didn't vote. Now, he has 208 subscribers. Then he says, I didn't vote. Tariq Nasheed, the importance of not voting, right? But in that same regard, he would have This brother on the stage that's running for mayor. You can't make this stuff up, man. And I point this out, I become the hater. Look at that. How in the world do I become the hater because I'm pointing out the truth? You know what I'm saying? How is that? And then the sad part about it, second to that, sad part about it, you have people to think that that is reasonable. Look at this. Look at some of the comments. I'm, I'm, I must say I'm proud to be FBA. Come on down. There is so much power in not voting. I'm in my 30s and I've never voted. I don't plan on voting till some tangibles for FBA has been signed and approved before I vote. They didn't even think of a strategy of how to vote. They don't think about a strategy of how to move on some tangibles. They just say, I'm going to sit back and with my sitting on my hands and I'm not going to vote. You feel what I'm saying? Insane to me. And so, you know, uh, um, when you're looking at uh, Red Grant um, and he 
One second. And let me pull him back up. When you look at him, right? And he um and he's running for mayor. So now we got Tariq who wants to be a comedian with his dry jokes. And then you got Red Grant, who is a professional, hilarious comedian. Now he's running for mayor. Now I don't I don't go with that thing that, you know, um every entertainer is is can be bought and sold and all of that i'll go with that but i go with 95.9 percent of them can 95.9 percent of entertainers they take checks to do the craziest things they take i'm not saying red did but people would take checks to to put on a dress people would take checks uh, uh, checks to wear lipstick, to wear makeup. People will take checks. They will go against all of their principles for a check as it relates to their career. So they are to like the, that's why Malcolm X say no, no entertainer should be representing the people. You know what I'm saying? No entertainer should be representing the people because only a small percentage, only a small percentage will not sell their soul. Only a small percentage, and it's too and it's too risky to trust any of them for real. It's just too risky because if you would take a check to kiss a man in the mouth and 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 and, and say, you know, oh, I'm just acting. No, you ain't. No, -uh, you're not hating. You're not acting. You crazy. You you tripping. So that's why that's not cool. That's not cool. You know what I mean? That's not cool. So. Yeah, that, that's a problem. That's a problem. Now, with that being said, watch this. Now, I'm not against anybody. Understand what I'm saying? I'm not against anybody. But people start, when you're looking at Tariq Nasheed, right? When you're looking at Tariq Nasheed, uh, and he's bringing people to the stage, you know, like, like Ray Grant. You know what I'm saying? You're bringing people to the stage like Ray Grant. And these then these are uh, 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 people, FBA, that that follow Tariq Nasheed. Not FBAs that just claim FBA, but follow Tariq Nasheed. These are the things that they're supporting, like with, with Red. Over the past 20 years, I have been an alley support, the most powerful movement for equality our country has ever seen. Despite the progress that has been achieved, uh, our most marginalized citizens are still suffering from violence, discrimination, and fear. My goal as mayor is to ensure that all LGBTQIA plus people are particularly those who are trans, people of color, and HIV are treated as full and equal citizens across DC. Now, as a person uh, in America um, that is described, considered, and sometimes even classified as black, I think we as a group face more problems than the LGBTQIA and everybody else. So with that being said, like, why is it such a, let me blow it up so everybody can see it. Why is it such paramount for uh, our politicians, if you will, be running on a ticket uh, that doesn't highlight um I mean, us at the top of the pile. You see what I'm saying? And so when you look at the Tariq Nasheed and the Nasheediites, this is what they're supporting by default. This is what they're supporting by default. I mean, some of them don't even know they're supporting this. Because because just because he's a comedian and and he's and his name is uh, 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 Red Grant, they're supporting this by default. They don't even know. Many of them might don't even know that they supporting this, but this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. This is this doesn't make sense for people to follow an incompetent person like Tariq Nasheed. He's just incompetent. That that's that's he that's he's incompetent. You know what I'm saying this is this is crazy. It's all an agenda. It's all an agenda to keep us enslaved for the next 20 years beyond. We, we they need to really lock the lot, lock the latch on us right now for at least 20 years so they can figure out how to put us back in for the next thousand. You follow me? So 
family. This is this is the awakening moment. This is the awakening moment right now. Like we we like we reading the charge of the awakening moment. Like people say, uh, 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 um, like Marcel Dixon looks zesty as well. Uh, like 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 you know what I'm saying. Now I don't have no problem with people do uh, in their bedroom, but when you run for politics, you actually are going to run on your lifestyle. You understand what I'm saying? If your lifestyle is majority majority shaped around you trying to defend your lifestyle, then most of your policies will be in that area of defending. Now, if your policies is consistent with your lifestyle of fighting for liberation for your people or trying to fight for better jobs, trying to fight for better homes, then that'll be your fight. But most of the time, when you are in the, the letter community, your majority of your fight before be about the lettered community. That's all I'm saying. Majority of the fight be about the lettered community. And so at the end of the day, family, we got to wake up. We got to wake up. We got to, I mean, look, there was some genuine people that was there. You know what I'm saying? Some real genuine people that was there, you know, and those genuine people, um, I believe, if they watch this show tonight, that they're possibly going to wake up because, because nobody's coming after them. Look at this. This is, we need to stop. We need to stop this. We need to stop this, man. This has got to stop. Come on, man, man. <laughs> Come on, man. We got to stop, man. We got to stop this, Red. I love you, brother. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, Red. Go on, man. Make us laugh, man. Stop this, man. <laughs> Just make us laugh, man. Stop this foolishness, man. Try to. Try to put the rainbow in the living room and all that type stuff, man. Leave the rainbow in the sky, man. Stop playing all the time, man. We need to stop this mess, man. Seriously, man. We need to stop this. And, and, and my brother Marcel, man, seriously, man. That's man, listen, man. We need to do better, man. That's all I'm saying. We need to do better. We play too much, man. Y'all play too much. Oh, Marcel over here, man. He 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 wanted to be voted into Congress, man. Stop, man. We need to stop playing, man. Come on, Marcus. Come on, man. We got to stop this mess, man. Come on, Marcus. What you representing, bro? What's your politics, brother? You running on reparations. What else? Every time I hear uh, uh, my brother, he's running on the ticket of reparations. What else? What else? What, is, what is your politics, brother? See, this is the problem. People don't like to talk about other people's politics because then it's going to give you the, the ability to be brutally honest. Like I don't know any of his politics besides he run it on the tip, tip uh, uh, the ticket of reparation. But there's so much more in the community to be addressed. You know what I mean, there's so much more in the community to be addressed when you are in a political uh, uh, and when you are in a political fight for our people. There is a whole bunch of stuff to be addressed. Somebody said Marcel does stand for good policies. Good. Good, Marcel. I might get him on the show one day, man. Because he was on the wrong stage then. He was on the wrong stage. Because, because Tariq don't believe what he believe. Yeah, let, let, can I play it again? Tariq don't believe what he believe. Look. Watch it. Telling people not to vote. How dare you? Yes, dare me. I'm absolutely telling people. Stop taking y'all goofy asses out there voting for nothing. We're getting slaughtered and hammered out here by the dominant society. We don't have no protection. They're not giving us no tangent. Oh, let me get the other video before you try to flip it and say, I'm saying don't vote for nothing. But what I mean is vote for this person. Nah, uh-uh. You won't get to flip that. Let's go. We're not going for it. This is why it is important not to vote family. We need protections. We need the same type of protections that Native Americans get, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about the red Native Americans. We need those kind of protections. We he said, he said his rationale of not voting is because we need protections. 
the same protections as the Native Americans get. Have anybody been to a uh, reservation lately? It ain't nothing but alcohol and casinos and torn down homes. Anybody ever been there lately? Protections. Those European Native Americans that they like to go by, they ain't got no protections. They cornered off, feeding off each other's flesh. What the world is he talking about? And people really listening to this guy. Unbelievable to me. Unbelievable. This is just, this is just beyond me. This is just beyond me that people would actually listen to this guy. And this guy is just full of propaganda. This shows that he tried to call everybody these agent names. He is full of propaganda. Look at this. Shout out to these uh, good gentlemen who were at the top of federal buildings yesterday observing us, showing their support for, come on. You wasn't looking over there. He didn't snatch this stuff off of somebody's page and posted it. He was so shook. Nobody hardly seen him out there. He was at the back of the stage, and when that thing was over, immediately he took a few pictures, gave a few words, and was gone. He ain't seen none of this stuff. He takes all the stuff he can and uses for propaganda. Unbelievable to me. And people call me the hater. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. How when I'm the hater? Because I want to wake you up. I don't hate you. I love you. I love you. I want to wake you up. If I, if I ain't love you, I would just let you be blind and fall for anything. If I didn't love you, you know what I'm saying? Look at those, look at those, look at those European fingers on there. He's just snatching off of people's stuff. That probably ain't had nothing to do with the rally. Probably ain't had nothing to do with the rally. He probably searched the internet for these pale little fingertips. Look at this. Don't nobody know where them pictures came from. He just throw anything up there. And people that follow him, follow it, run for it. Man, how crazy are we this day and hour? How crazy are we that someone just can throw anything in front of our face and we just run with it? Look at this. Come on, Tariq. Come on. That's right. And I had the nerve to do. Now, now, here is the caveat to those fake images of all of those people at the event yesterday. There were more Pan African there, or equal amount of Pan Africans, as it was those who claimed FBA. You know they say the Pan-African movement is dead. Now, I said I'm not going to go through my videos, but if I decided to go to my video, you will see more Pan-Africans, black power fists, red, black, and green flags, uh, black power. And they know it too. So when you're talking about the rally is a success, is it success because of numbers or is it success for those who are dedicated to your message? Because if it's success because of numbers, don't forget to count the Europeans that was there. Don't forget to count the, uh, the, the quote unquote, the Asians that was there. Don't forget to count all the Pan-Africans that was there. Don't forget to count all the Hebrews that was there. Don't forget to count all the other groups that was there to make that number look like something. Don't forget that. They don't, you can't forget that because those numbers is what really make it look like something 
where you can use and manipulate and make it look even bigger. But don't forget the Pan-Africans. They was all through there. They was all through that. Especially around the, around the corridor, there was Pan-Africanists everywhere. You follow what I'm saying? Don't forget that. Don't forget that. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 the, and the crazy thing about it, the crazy thing about it is, it doesn't even make sense. You know what I mean, it doesn't even make sense that people will fall for this. It's like, how, how bad has things gotten in our community? Who's gonna run with Marcel? Who's gonna be the state rep to get behind Marcel? Who's gonna be the city council? Who's gonna be the dog catcher to actually wake these people up and put fear in them? Nobody, sis. Nobody, sis. Because nobody is supposed to vote. Nobody is supposed to vote, sis. Nobody going to catch the dog. The dog just going to run until they get hit by a car. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's all the dog going to do. He going to run till the car hit him. Because <laughs> ain't nobody catching no dog. Not in our community. Just, no. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. Nah. I'm like hearing for that now. While you're talking about me on Twitter space, you should be recruiting somebody to run. In the Look at Lil' Kim. <laughs> Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim in the building. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Lil' Kim. <laughs> Like she gonna be mad at me. I like sis though. Sis though, sis, if you watch it, sis, don't get mad at me. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. I like you, sis. <laughs> I like her. Look, she had me at yeah, that's me ex. She had me hyper when I heard her talk. And I said, that's the message that I'm talking about. That's the exact message that I am talking about. You know what I'm saying? That's the message. Right there. But. <laughs> Benzomiata. Kata. Wonshata. <laughs> With the mix of thing. With the legs on the. If it's murder, you know she wrote it. German Lugo for you. Deep throat it. <laughs> I know you want to fill the room because it's pot and pot it. Take a pick. Got a fire off to the toad it. <laughs> But they hating on the sideline. Get your own. Why you riding mine? I'm a good fella, kind lady. That's what we ain't even to say. Tariq, hold me down, baby. Only female in my crew. And I need, like a nigga do, pull the trigger too. Fuck uh, you. <laughs> nah, I'm just right. She really laid that thing out, though. For real, for real. <laughs> I'm just playing, sis. <laughs> yeah, she did that thing though. But listen though, the message is. And you should be preparing for that now. While you're talking about me on Twitter space, you should be recruiting somebody to run in the state of California for 2024. And that's the message right there. Why all of these Twitter spaces and conversations are happening, we should be preparing ourselves for that what's to come. You follow what I'm saying? And she is spot on with that. She is spot on. And there is not one word that that sister said at the, at her for her presentation that I disagree with. I mean, there is not one word that that sister said that I disagree with. I approve her message. I may joke and I may play, but I approve her message. I mean? Real talk. More <laughs> time. She just looked bloated. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. I try to make friends, man. I try to make friends more rap, man. You know, I got a lot. All right, so listen. So listen. Let me see what else I got in. Because I told you, I don't want to dwell on this story too long. Because it, it was so... It was such a made up story that people are doing now. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. This is an event, right? Let me share something, which is to just give you some perspective, right? This is an event. 
in D.C. That, again, let me see if I can write on this. This is an event in D.C. That right here would be the stage. Back there will be the Hebrew Israelites. Hold up, let me see. I get some color. Back here will be the Hebrew Israelites. So this would be the stage. But the actual stage was actually right here. Right. No, this is good. So this would be the stage right here. You feel me? Let me go like this. Let me bring it down so y'all can see. I want y'all to see this. So look. This literally... And I'm being generous. This literally was the bulk of the people. And anybody that was there, no, I'm not lying. That was the bulk of the people. And like I said, anybody that was there, no, I am not lying. Anybody that was there, no, I'm not lying. There was no whole sea of people out there. And that's, and that's just what it is. That's just what it is. I'm not knocking it. Uh, the people out there show me love. Uh, many show me more love than, um, than show me hate, you know, and they know I'm not lying. They know I'm not lying. Let me show you another perspective. When you look at rallies, right, um, especially right there, the thing is, is that they actually have um, they actually have like views. And so this is what it really looked like. And anybody that was there would not lie that that tells the truth. This is what it really looked like. And this is just a mock-up. The stage was right here. It was people up here. And then it was people sprinkled around. And it was people on the corners and all throughout here. So that's what it really looked like. And that's real talk. I was standing, again, let me let me get it marked up real quick. I was standing, when I came in, at first I stood right here. And then I stood back here. That's why when you look at my video, that's why when you looked at my video, you're able to see, or you look at a, a Sister Dana video, you're able to see that, it's 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 really a um it's it's really it's really uh disingenuous when you look at her video look at my video look at the brother video it's really disingenuous to say that here we go right here look at this there it is right here let me go back real quick now this is halfway up right there Yeah, let me show that video. Somebody said they tried to move GS. Look, let me show you this. Yeah, let me show a couple of my videos real quick. Here we go. Yeah, Anthony, can you step back a little bit? Absolutely not, brother. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Uh-huh. 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 I don't know. Uh, no. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? Kidding? That's not for what? Tell him you're a piece. Step back. Tell him you're a piece. Step back. And see, when I tell him, and, and shout out to this brother. I like this brother. He was actually doing his job that he was getting paid for. Tariq, Tariq sent them back there. Tariq sent them back there. You feel what I'm saying? There's no doubt in my mind Tariq sent them back there. You feel what I'm saying? Um, because the moment that that fans took position in the back, they started coming. They started coming. You know what I'm saying? But I, it didn't bother me. But at the end of the day, let me share this with you. Shout out to those brothers. They was very professional. They understood my position. And they just kept it moving. I mean, shout out to them for that. 
Um, but at the end of the day, Tariq sent them back there. Like, are you tripping? Like, um, and I was saying that y'all not telling these Europeans to move because in the crowd, there was a bunch of Europeans and I'm not going to, I don't, don't let me overdo it. There were Europeans in the crowd sprinkled in all around there. And I'm showing them, I'm like, move them Europeans. Why are you not you moving them Europeans? Just move them Europeans. At one point, that's why I say I'm not going to show the videos that I have. You know what I mean? Unless they talk too slick. Because at one point, there was like 30 or 40. I'm not fronting. It was like, let me, let me put this slide up real quick. Let me show you something. It was like 30 or 40. They just came through. One of the, they could have walked on the side. Hold on, let me show you. Let me pull this up real quick. I ain't playing. This is real talk. Anybody that was there, no, I am not lying. Give me one second. Let me pull this up. Now, let me find my picture real quick. All right, there we go. Let's, let's do this picture. Now, anybody that was there, no, I'm not lying. They know I'm not. I'm going to tell the truth. You know what I mean? Because that's what I do. It was like at least 40 Europeans, right? They must was tourists or something, right? They, when they came through, right? <laughs> this is funny to me, right? Because look, this is what happened. When they came through, it was a bunch of them, right? At least about 30 or 40 of them. Can't nobody lie about this. I'm not lying, not one bit. I don't do no lying. It's, it's, it's no, no need to. Anyway, it's like 40 of them Jones, right? They come through this. They come walking down this way. Bing, 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 bing. It's a crew of them. Old Europeans, middle-aged Europeans. Now, they could have walked down this sidewalk. Nah. They came all the way up here, right? They walk right through. Man, it was it was it was people sitting on these walls right here. They was all sitting on the wall. Some people were standing around, but not much. They walked straight through this door. Walked through everybody, skinning and grinning like a chessy cat. So I'm like right here because I'm trying to get a shot of the crowd as I'm giving a drop for these videos I'm gonna upload, right? And they come right here, and I think it's like a statue or something over here. I don't know. Something over here. No, no. When they went to pass me, I think it's a statue like right here. When they went to pass me, I'm like, man, look at these Europeans coming through here. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, look at all these Europeans coming through here. Look at these Europeans coming here. Man, it's crazy. And so, hold on, hold on. I think I got the video. Let me see if I got it with the bro. Let me see if I got the video with the bro. I think this is it. With the beat. Make sure I'm sending. So this is the bro, right? Yeah, you know I mean he FBA, right? But so this is the this is the bro. He like FBA, right? But let me see if I can catch This is the Boris Raw TV. We got an FBA that loves me because we are all FBA and we want tangibles. No, we do want tangibles. And this is the problem. Am I saying it? And this is the problem. People got a misunderstanding about Brother Tarver. A big misunderstanding. The misunderstanding. But look in the background to the right. You still got a, a Bubba Smurf over there following me around. You see Bubba Smurf over there in the right? You know what I'm saying? And it is that Moors are not FBA. We are the original FBA. No, I'm just glad. No, we want we want tangibles. We want them for our exclusive group. Those who are descendants of the So 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 brother right there, good brother. Brother right there is a good brother, right? Um at the end of the day, I had to tell him that uh brother, listen. I said, listen, bro, you see all these Europeans over here? Bro, before anybody even discuss anything with me, you got to go discuss it with these Europeans. Because I said, look at these Europeans. And so the Europeans, they walking past, right? And I look at the European. I said, man, look at y'all. Y'all know y'all ain't supposed to be here. They started snickering and laughing. <laughs> I said, you can't. 
I love, wait, to, I'm going I'm to I'm clip that one. I'm going to do, do a YouTube short on that one because my son turned the camera on me. I was like, man, look at y'all, man. Y'all ain't supposed to be up in here. And one just was like, <laughs> you know how they do that European laugh and everything shake? <laughs> I said, man, come on, man. Get on out here with that, man. <laughs> I said, man, this stuff is a joke, man. Like, for real, like, like, I'm just saying, man, like, I know it's a public space and everything, but you can't be taking credit for numbers, you know what I mean? Because like, yeah. I would have been like, brother, can y'all can y'all really just uh, make a perimeter right there uh, uh, so nobody just can invade like that? And then when people walk up, I say, you know, would you mind just walking around? But they ain't say that to the European, but guess what they said to me? Can you go step down there? They even went down there and tried to quiet the Hebrew Israelites up. You know you ain't quiet in no Hebrew Israelites up. We! <laughs> they was up that joint. Hey, shout out. <coughs> shout out to the Hebrew Israelites, man. They was up that joint. Read John 3.16. <laughs> For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Read. <laughs> Yeah, they wouldn't. Man, you ain't running no Hebrew Israelites nowhere. <laughs> Shout out to the Man, listen, those are one of the most dedicated groups in our community, man. They was up that joint. And then look, they try to bring in, they try to bring in those uh uh uh, uh those paper soldiers, right? They try to bring in the paper soldiers, you know what I mean? Man, I'm trying to tell you, these Hebrew Israelites. They had on like purple or, or like a blue demonstration. You know, you know how they wear their jaws. They got the purple, the blue demonstrations. But man, let me tell you, they sent their team out there. Like they sent the black suits, you know what I mean? The paper, the paper police, security. Man, let me tell you something. They must, they must got on the uh the Star David Bat phone. Because about 15 minutes, it was some out there with the yellow on, with the fringes. Come on, I, I said, oh. I said, oh. Oh. Y'all won't play, do you? They called me reinforcement. They called it a whole never camp. I said, yes. I looked at the boys. I said, that's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. I did. I looked at the boys that was with me. I said, that's what we need to do. But we just going to do T-shirts and, and, and snapbacks. <laughs> that's what I said. I said, <laughs> I, said, I, said I said, we need to do that. We need to do that. But we going to do T-shirts and snapbacks, all right? <laughs> we <laughs> Shout out to my Hebrew Israelite brother, man. Look, and the funny thing. <laughs> you know, the funny thing about it, right? Oh, man. Every time I pull up, because the Hebrew Israelites know me. I mean, they're my brothers. I love them. Every time I pull up, they always got to throw in some more stuff. Everybody want to be everything else. They want to be more. They want to, I'm like, ah, oh, come on, brother. I'm on your team today. Can we be on the same team today? Let's be all cold. Let's be all cold. Me and you, cold. We against this foolishness. <laughs> I try I to try be all cold with the Hebrews. They be remembering videos that I did on Hebrews like five years ago. Like, no, nah, we all cold today, bro. It's me and you. Come on. I mean, meet your ex, Hebrews, NOI, all of us. All of us, man. We all cold, man. That's right. Because you know... They will consider the minister a tether too. Do y'all know that? <laughs> yeah. The minister people is from St. Kitts. And ain't it amazing? They talk, that's why you have to be careful of calling people names. You have to be careful of calling people names. You know what I mean? You have to be careful. You have to be careful. Hold up. Before I get out of here, I'm going to put the link in here. Um, we have to be careful. 
Because, I mean, like, when you be calling people tethers, you know how many people that fight for our people. You know how many people that put it all on the line for our people. And you just recklessly calling people these names. Like, you like, like you know, come on. That's, that's goofy. That's goofy. That's reckless. That is so, so reckless that it don't make sense. It don't make sense. Let me drop this link in here real quick. See if anybody, see if my brother, did my brother leave yet? I got about 15 minutes. Um. Let me let me see if I can. So listen, let me show you something, family. Family, before I get out of here, I just I just put the link in there. I got to do one thing. To, hold on, let me do one thing to this before I do it. And then I, so I'm doing properly, all right? Hold tight. So listen, let me share something with you. One second. Let me share something with you real quick. All right. All right we got, I think we got somebody coming in the building. Hold up one second. We got company. We got company. Y'all be nice. We got company. All right. Give me one second, family. I'm trying to save something real quick. All right. Here we go. We got company. We got company. All right. So now check this out. When we start talking about family, I want you to remember to re to, to hold people accountable. The moment that they talk about grassroots, you need to understand what grassroots is. Grassroots. I bring my brother in, my brother Khalif in, and I'm going to finish my statement. I'll let him ride. Salute, my brother. When we're talking about grassroots, this is a brother that's grassroots. If you go on his Twitter page, you'll see him in the community. You see him talking to the people that he's a part of. That's grassroots. That's real grassroots. Grassroots is not on the internet. Even what I'm doing right now, this is not grassroots. I can call it grassroots, but it's really not. Grassroots happen. You talking to your neighbor, you talking to the church member, you talking to the mosque, you're talking to the business in the neighborhood, and you're talking to those that control the power of the people in the neighborhood. That's the people, and then the community, and then it spreads out. That's grassroots. When you look at Martin Luther King, all the churches came together on local level, and they was making a difference locally. This is why he went to Selman. That's why he did the march on Selman. This is why he, he, he traveled around to certain cities, and he and he protests, and he campaigned, and he, you know, that's grassroots. Do you see what I'm saying? So when you look at Tariq, keep talking about the grassroots, talking about the grassroots, talking about the grassroots, that's just a trigger word to make you think that you're getting involved in something that is going to affect change because the grassroots is where change always happens. It's just game. It's hustle game. Now, real quick before I bring my brother in, um, this is not grassroots. And I'm not knocking nobody because of where they live, but this is not grassroots. There is no struggle right there. This is, this is your donation money. This is your financing a uh, uh, milk slide silk slide records you're financing hidden colors you're financing you're financing all of this you see what i'm saying you're financing all of this now for grassroots to be real for Tariq nasheed he would have to go door to door in his neighborhood this is his neighborhood he would have to go to door to door in his neighborhood and in his neighborhood he would have to rally them around a cause that affect them locally. And now that blueprint could be used in other neighborhoods or other communities. This is his community. Many people are going to say I'm pocket watching. Many people are going to say I'm hating. But what I'm telling you is that those who don't struggle don't know struggle. You know what I'm saying? And so this guy has been eating off the, 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 the fat of the lamb for a long time. So he don't know what a grassroot is. This is why he leans over a, a, a barrier to hug and take a picture because he's in this gated community, hiding, laughing, chilling, waiting for the next presentation 
in his little hood room. That's all he's doing. People need to wake up. People need to wake up because while you're sending all the dimes and all the coins from your children's college fund, this fool is on his way to the next trip out of the country. So with that being said, let me bring my brother Khalif in the building, the reparationist. What's up, brother? I'm, let me I'll meet you. What's going on, man? Good to be back. We putting that work in over here, man. I'm, hey, bro. Bro, you did it, bro. A, a, a more brother of mine and quite a few other people reached out to me. They were like, bro, you got to go on Twitter. You got to go on Twitter. Mm -hmm. He was like, keep it up on Twitter. And I was like, man, I thought about you. I was like, man, bro, Khalifa saying the same thing, yeah. man. You got to come on Twitter. You said that on the show that day. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then my man hit me up today and was like, bro, you want to come on? I'll walk you through it. And I was like, yo. That's what's up. So, man, man, gratitude. What's up, bro? What's happening? I'm chilling, man. I can't call him. Just trying to. Um, first off, man, I just got to see shout out to you for going to the march and you know breezing through the whole scene and getting that that that, that raw live footage because you know people be capping. It is what it is. I don't really, you know what I mean. But it go back to what I was saying when I was on the show. Is a black Tucker Carlson. That's all it is. Um, but you know what's going on with me, man. You know out here in Philly. We got a guy, um, you got to come through, man. Whenever you get a chance to come through, I got a guy, I, I got to introduce you to him. Matter of fact, I'm about to send his link in my chat. We got a guy that we, we're going to, you know, pushing forward with the reparations piece. He's going to run for office, different things of that nature. But he, he's already rooted in the consciousness, so he's already grounded in information about caring about the people. Right. So as a politician, we can't just deal with people who are already a part of the system. We can give them legislation to possibly move forward and make them, you know, do their thing, but we can't, it's difficult for us to go and find somebody who's like one of us, that's like-minded. And I think we got somebody here in Philly. And, and when you're able to do that, bro, that make it just that, just that much better because they actually uh, learn, they hit the ground running and they learn the tricks and they already know the tricks exist. They just, they just need to learn them to get around them. That's it. And once that happens, it's ball game. Because one thing that these Europeans does is they design the tricks. So every time we figure out one, we right. ain't in place to, to sideline it. So every time we figure out one, they develop another one. And they develop right. another one. And so when someone says don't vote or don't be active in politics or don't be active in legislation and things that's going on, that means that every time that we figure out something, they got the ability to double back, change it up, and then throw it on us again. When we begin to be active and play an active role in these uh, uh, places, then right. we'll be able to say, nah, we're not going for that, especially in Philly and in Baltimore. Right. In Baltimore, we are like eight, I think we like 60 Baltimore City, but we got Baltimore City yeah. and County. In the city, we got to be at least 80%. Now, y'all have a number out there. Same, in fact, oh, like 45%. Bro, if I'm around, bro, this is no this is no cap, bro. No cap whatsoever. I told this story before. I went to Arizona. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have nothing against anybody. Europeans, whatever. I think Europeans, they playing the game like they're supposed to play it. That's how they're supposed to play it. They're trying to win. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, and the Mexicans, they playing the game like they're supposed to play. But when I went to Arizona, man, I was like, man, I felt like a fish out of water. Like, like you know, because Philly and Baltimore is alike in yeah. so many ways. I was like, yeah. man, how can somebody live up here? Like, because right. I don't see enough of me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't see ratchetness. I mean, I don't want to be, I don't want nobody to be no, I don't want nobody to be no dope fiend, but I'm kind of like, right. yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I ain't got nothing for you, sis. Go ahead. <laughs> we, we, sw we swim in numbers out there in certain places, but you know, we got a good benefit of where we at. So it's kind of like it's good point. for us to take power, like you saying. It's a matter of fact. It's a couple things though. I did want to. Um, I did want to update you on. So the first jump, remember I was. I don't. I didn't get the chance to tell you about. But you learned about that March. You know, the October 16th, John. You learned about that one today. But yeah. you know, it was the March and it was the rally. And you know some of the people that was involved in that. So you learned about that today on Twitter and on Twitter screens. Absolutely. You know, you know what I'm saying that's us controlling the algorithm, if you will. So like once you take control of the algorithm, then you run the narrative that gotta be displayed because Twitter propaganda can kind of like run a lot of different things. I know I'm saying this stuff, and people are probably like, what is he talking about? Is it different? But I you get it though, because I understand. I understand the algorithms of YouTube. Right. 
saying? And so I, I get what you're saying. Absolutely. Yeah. So 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 kind of sort of like it all started because people probably like they they probably they don't know like I got a not a different point of view from the last time I was here, but I still got the same point of view on my stance and the and but my political beliefs and all of that. But we was on Twitter exposing a lot of truths <laughs> day by day by day by day because I can tell, bro. It was a, we had a, it was an undermining. You know when you when when people see a, something being undermined, they kind of be like, wait a minute, something wrong with that. And that's kind of what a lot of the people on Twitter seen before that October 16th March. So that's when people got on a, a certain type of code, and we went out there to the October 16th uh, March down in D.C. and we did what we did. The footage gonna be out. Matter of fact, I think my man, I hope my man in the chat box, hopefully he could drop the uh, the link. He posted a. Uh, a short film uh, that he put on YouTube. If not, I could probably put it in a link uh, when I finish up. But yeah, man, like I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post some of mine. I'm gonna I'm cut mine down. The thing is, I didn't want to. I met a lot of uh, uh, good people out there. Good people, bro. I met a lot of good people out there, and so I didn't want to shame the efforts because right. it's the organizer that right. needs to be held accountable. But the people come out in good faith. Right. You know Bro, you know the funny thing about it, though? I was telling my wife about it. Like, the guys was mainly the mad ones. They was, they was like, super mad. But the sisters, <laughs> some of the sisters, you know who you are. Some of the sisters, they was like, they was like, they was in the slave camp. They was like, Brother Tucker, Brother Tucker. <laughs> They was whispering. They probably seen, they probably seen the episode because you've been you've been you've been in the out. They've been putting you in the algorithm, whether it's been for laughs or whether it's been for truth. But they've been putting you in the algorithm because you've been exposing truth right. to the most. And then some people they feel how they feel. But yeah. one sister was like, uh, "Brother Tahaka," and she kind of she kind of slipped it past by. I was like, "Come here, sis. Give me a hug. <laughs> give me a hug." I was like, "Uncle Uncle Tahaka, babe, give me a hug." <laughs> And down on that's hey, bro, and let me tell you something. This is one thing that we have to understand. Some of these things that we're going to have to show up. Those who have like-minded, we're going to have to show up. Because one thing that I noticed, Brother Khalif, is that on my way leaving out, I didn't want... Listen, I could have really uh, influenced the audience into understanding my position if I'd have stayed a little longer. Right. Because on that corner, anybody that was there, on that corner on the way out where you walk in at, Bro, I started talking. The crowd was just building. It was building, bro. And I was talking the same talk that I talk here. I was talking like, nah, you know, you got to put things in place. You know, this house ain't this house ain't got nothing in it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no plumbing, ain't no electric. This piece, this is just talking. This is just boom. There ain't nothing in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't have a pathway to that. Like, and, and then one of the things that I want to say on this show is that. When you look at a person like Tariq Nasheed, if we if we if we be be critically and brutally honest, mm -hmm. he puts together what is called a treatment for a documentary. Right. In other words, he has to organize these pieces of a documentary, right. and he got to put them all together, or he turn them over to somebody. To put them all together to give a finished product, right. so he got he got he got to pick out the people. He got to pick. He, this this is all organization. So he put all of this organization into hidden right. colors, all the way up to five. Right. All of this organization into movies. All of this organization into setting up these little conferences and whatever. Whoever he get doing other, but the only only organized effort he has for reparation is. It's a lineage. I'm not a leader, right? And we need our money. And and, and, and listen, man, listen. We gotta listen. You 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 calling it out because it doesn't make no sense. It, it it doesn't. How do you be so intelligent to organize all of these documentaries and make them a success? What? But you have not put the nuts and bolts into the car of what you say that you're fighting for as it relates to reparations. It's a sham. But this but this goes back to the whole thing in regards to like that liberation entertainment. You know what liberation I mean? Entertainer. That's all he is. That's He's a mean. liberation entertainer. And yeah. Sean Richardson, you, you're really trying to psychoanalyze Tariq. I told you it's always the guys 
It's always the guys. I think the guys should have stopped. Won't the guys just stop checking me for for a little while because it just it just don't feel too good. Let let the sisters check me a little bit. You know what I mean? It's always the guys. It's Listen, never- Swagger, I said, I said they treat this guy like he's the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. He didn't build no institutions with them. He didn't help them feed nobody. I'm just sitting back, like if we fighting for reparations, I'm I'm messing with the person that's helping me build, not the person that's I'm paying them to build. I don't. I mean, I don't get it. Look, so he said, Sean Richardson said, "What have you done? Why don't you do it since you got it all figured out?" I am working on it, Sean. I keep saying that. <laughs> I'm working on it. I just what you what you want me to do is just play lip service on social media all day, which you're used to. That's what see. That's what they're really saying. Why we don't see you on Twitter talking about uh, uh, or doing what Tariq is doing? Because I don't do what Tariq do. I don't talk about things that need to be done and that's critical. I don't put all the information right here. I put just enough information here to wake brothers up like you, Sean, so we can use all of this effort to get somewhere real fast because the efforts that you're using now for Tariq ain't getting us nowhere, nowhere soon. What I I will say is that it's some people, it's a minuscule number, and the number is still growing, but it's some people who... um, who are on social media, who are doing things, you know, active, like who putting boots on the ground, feet on land, as I like to call it, right? You have some people, you have a you have a good number, you know, we work with some of the individuals, different things of that nature. And then there's some people by the masses who just, they're like fans, like they just comment on things and they're not actually involved in none of the grassroots stuff, but they can pose as, like you said, using these buzzwords to be like, oh yeah, grassroots. But it's like, damn, all you did was post a meme. You know what I'm saying? Like it's kind of like, or you just undermining something on social media. And and and, and Khalif, and, and and before I'm gonna close with this and give you the last word. One of the things that 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 blows me away is is that um the work that need to be done, social media is only a bridge to get to that. Right. It's only a bridge to get to that because we need to get to the streets. Like like if somebody go to your Twitter and 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 and, and the people that I'm connected with, they need to go to the streets. But the thing is this, bro. The funny part to me is everything that I'm saying, don't think that I'm just philosophizing. Right. I'm saying what I know because what I know is what I do. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Just like we were, we were in the Twitter space and I, and I was telling the sister, you know, it's a universal principle to get to where we need to go. Whether I call myself a more today and a one call himself or uh, something else tomorrow, the principle to get this is one way. Right. One way. So if we all stick to the principle that what it's going to take to get this, we're going to be fine. You know what I'm right. saying? And we speak the same language. The problem is, is that the she do not speak the universal language to get from point A to point B. <laughs> That's just it. The freedmen speak the language. The reparationists speak the language. Whether they choose to go through the freedmen door or whether they walk through the door of articulated through the reparations door as it relates to, okay, let's walk this way because we've seen it happen like this. Let's walk this. You know, it's a universal way to move. Tariq don't fit that. He doesn't have a clue. I actually, I actually think Tariq was in the room uh, uh, with five students and two teachers, man. <laughs> Seriously, man. Oh man, you crazy. <laughs> no, he was in the room with five, with five students and two teachers, man. In some kind of way, he found his niche in hustling people. That's I mean, hey, look, you've been pulling out the receipts the past few weeks. They they got people on social, they got people on Twitter talking about he said he was gone six months at it. So so look, shout out to you with the receipts because you ain't coming through with them. Man, man, he could listen, man. He done loaded me up, but the only reason I'm not going in on this march is because the beautiful reception, man. I was impressed, bro. I really was. Now, I, I expected some haters, but the reception from the FBA family, man. Listen, their face was nice and bright. They was it, it was a good it was a good look, bro. I I, I, I forgave a lot of them now because I was putting them all in the dum dum bag. <laughs> nah, but once they but, but once you hear something that like once you can critically think on it, like especially face to face, people are gonna have the they're gonna be like, you know what? 
you might you make sense a little bit. Like they it, some of the stuff. I mean, people can't just say this stuff don't make sense because somebody's telling you to not to like that person. That's that's what I'm saying. Go back to that. It go back to like people treating this guy like he's the most honorable like Muhammad. Hasn't helped him build not one institution. Hasn't helped get him no economy. None of that. But that's how some people feel. But you know, it is what it is. So though, before we get out of here, man, I want to share one more thing, bro. And I hope hope y'all in the building tomorrow. I'll have my lighting. I like blinding me today, but tomorrow I'm gonna be right. Um, but family, this t- tomorrow you need to be here, family. Um, this is what I promoted in the Twitter space. I'm on Twitter now, man. Y'all gotta find me on Twitter, man. I need to find my Twitter link. I need to get used to saying that now. Cause you know, Khalif, I never did this. I never did social media for the buzz that's happening now or have happened before. I did it because I was frustrated people disrespecting Moors. Anybody right. that know the Moorish ideal from the from the social media perspective, man, we've been punked for a long time. Yeah. We've been punked, man, and nobody would step up. But they would argue with each other. I'm like, man, my God, man, get him. Get him. Right. And so 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 my 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 personality is pretty much good for this. But I'm not one of these weird old moors. Like a brother was that were like, you hate black people. You don't like black people. I'm looking at this goofy guy. I'm like, brother, I'm going home. My mother says says she's black. You saying I hate my mother? I say, brother, it's a principle and a concept. It's not for everybody. Right. My sister, my sister will, 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 will say she's black. My brother, my, 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 most of our family, bro, like, you saying yeah. I don't like black people, brother? Are you retarded? No, nah, but that, that just mean they haven't. That I, when I when I fall, run into a lot of these people, a lot of these people haven't been around people who call themselves Moors or Israelites in reality. So what happens is like they just be thinking it's like some internet stuff. They kind of go back to what you saying, but I'm from Philly, you in Baltimore, so we grew up around people who have. That's what they do. Absolutely, absolutely. So let me share this real quick. So family, listen, tomorrow, family, y'all got to be ready for this. Family, I'm trying to do it tomorrow. I don't think I need no rest. I think I got yeah. enough rest today. The hidden museum scam revealed. <laughs> family. Oh, man, that's crazy. Family, what I'm telling you, y'all need to share this to everybody when I put it up. You do not want to miss this. This will be the most intense, revealing show that you have seen in quite some time. This will be the most revealing show that you've seen since the first time we addressed the Marcus uh, Sanders and the Tariq Nasheed thing. You want to see this tomorrow. I mean, now people call one thing. One thing about a, a Twitter space that I like is that we can have a conversation and then. Uh, I can see in the future that I will come back with receipts to the conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like, like in, in Twitter space, everybody's having these conversations. And now, as I get more familiar with Twitter, you know what I mean? And I be in that little Twitter space, I be like, yeah, that's right. I got the receipts. I, like somebody was telling me, I got something for you, Grand Sheik. I was sitting, you know what I mean? So now we'll be able to take those conversations and I'll be able to illustrate it to paint the picture over here man so so shout out to my people over there what's my brother name that pulled me in uh, oh, it was, uh, it was the, i think it was stuck yeah yeah, yeah. Stuck. he was at, he was at the uh, october 16th rally in march too so. and then it was uh the, the um the other one. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 that's the thing you know that's that's what the real ones are like that bro because he was like listen man you ever been on Twitter? I was like, nah, not really. I got an account. He was like, look, I'm going to walk you through it. Don't worry about it. Bro, he took time, man. It was patient. It was like that. So I'm going to learn Twitter, family. I will be on Twitter. Listen, I was, try- I was trying to get you on. But but look, I know you I know you about to close. I just wanted to uh, land these few planes. That's what we say on Twitter, by the way. We say land a plane. I say land a private jet, though. You know, I'm special. Yeah. Long story short, we um, I, was, I sent you the email about the woman, Dawn Page, who was arrested in North Carolina. She sits on a high point North Carolina task force. I wanted to try to uh, bring her on, you know, let the people know what's going on at that point. They got a collusion going on. There's some Pan-Africanists. When did you say it? I sent it to you maybe about two weeks ago. We said that. I seen your your email, 
but I think I was just coming back from convention in Chicago. And hey. so I was trying to get, get back running on the ground. Resend it to me and we'll put it out. I got yeah, I gotta see that, man. There's a collusion going on with uh the white supremacist mayor. It's a whole lot going on, but it's black folk and white folk colluding against reparationists, and it's crazy. Where, where is it located? It's in High Point, North Carolina. High Point, see, North Carolina. Saying. We need to get like instead of people donating for hidden colors, they should donate that we get a couple hotel rooms, gas money, and we go down there and be right. That's where I'm at with it, bro. Well, look, Targa, get, get this, though. None of the new black media even posted anything about this. Like, I'm, I'm just calling what it is. All of these people who claim to be, quote, unquote, like, nobody put anything out about this. So we had to do our own media stuff to get it out there and different things of that nature. But it's just like, damn, this is this is the job that you're supposed to be doing, covering the rep things that's going on in the reparations movement. If you are liber if you're doing the entertainment aspect and not the organizer aspect, that's just my opinion. And see, I, I I I would love to here in Baltimore the organizing aspect because I'm a local type of person, you know what I'm saying? But the reporting and the covering the true story that's going on, exposing these frauds so they don't get no gas in their tank, you know what I'm saying? That's what I need to do here. And now I'm about to land this Cessna real quick, so I'm about to get out of here. <laughs> hey, I'm about to land this. <laughs> I got a I got a Cessna. I got a one engine, you know that joint with the. Da, 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 da. I'm yeah. gonna, now I'm gonna land this Cessna, man. I'm about here, man. But man, salute, Khalif. Please resend that email. We're about to yeah, connect. Yeah. Real. I'm about to give you. I'm about to give you the straight connect number. I'm yeah, gonna, you can do that. I, I, give you the throwaway phone. You know what I <laughs> mean? The Obama joint. Yeah, little flip joint like they had on the wire. Yeah, bro, sit them right over there. <laughs> I ain't give you that. <laughs> but I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you. Salute. Man, and I, I'm looking forward, bro. Send that, and um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you my, I'm gonna give you my, uh, my number, man, and we are gonna go from there. Got you, man. All right, that's what's up. So family, family, I, I implore you tomorrow. You gotta be here tomorrow, family. You gotta be here tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? If, if I get tired now, let's say tomorrow I work too hard, I get tired. I mean, yeah. I may have to take a break. Oh, family, I want to give a big shout out to my brother. Um, give me one second. I want to give a big shout out to my brother, Talib. Um, from Fred Hampton, somebody mentioned Fred Hampton Gun Club. Um, my brother Talib, man, he pulled up and you know what I'm saying, and 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 him and his queen uh pulled up. And I just want to give a shout out to my bro uh, for, for pulling up 10 toes down. And let me tell you something about, let me see if I can get a picture of him real quick so you know what I'm talking about. Y'all remember Tlaib was on the show? Um, this is the brother right here. I just give you this, just for perspective. Um, but he pulled up 10 toes down. And while, while you know, I was doing my, um, my YouTube uh, thing, um, the brother and his wife, a sister was um, going through something with the police, and that, that's to leave right there. You know what I mean? But but he was there to assist uh, to keep up. Uh, uh, him and his wife was there to assist to make to keep a couple pair of eyes on you know the weird weird stuff. You know, but he was there to assist to assist. You know, uh, he didn't ask me for a dime. Him and his wife showed up and. They actually got pulled away because a sister was on the ground dealing with a police issue, and he was able to go over there to um to uh, go ahead and um, help that issue with the sister with the police. So that's what's up. Somebody said Moorish Village. Well, the Moorish Village, brother. I mean Chino Hall, brother. Uh, you want to go dig up some dirt, brother? I we got we got some we got some place where people need to put in some work. Just email me to agabay at gmail.com. You want to make a contribution? Uh, we need we need some sweat equity. You know what I'm saying? We need sweat equity. Are you ready? Huh? You ready? All right. So with that being said, family, peace and love. I'm going to give me some rest so I can really blow this presentation out tomorrow. It's going to be amazing. I'm telling you, it will be amazing. Uh, shout out to Tariq Nasheed, uh, who, um, man, he he didn't he didn't poke the wrong one today. 
Yeah, he didn't poke the wrong one today. So it is what it is. He got to get some heat. So that's just what it is. Peace and love, family. We out. You dig? Tariq Nasheed. Peace and love. <laughs> Shout out to all those who showed me some love, too. I love y'all back. <laughs> Night 930. Let's go.